Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I want to talk a little bit about dynamic versus statically built websites. Now I might be using the wrong terms there but specifically or more specifically I want to talk about static websites and why in my opinion they do not rank as well on Google. So let's just dive straight into it. So I'm going to show you a few different examples of websites in today's video. The first one being a dynamically generated website. Now this website is findatradespersonisland.com. It's a pretty simple website. It basically is just a directory website that doesn't even work. So basically what it does is when somebody clicks on or went on either a search result on Google or if someone just goes on trades and then clicks a trade and then clicks a location, it will send a call to data for SEO, which will come back with this page that you can see right here. Now, Google seems to very much prefer this kind of website, a dynamically built website that creates the content when somebody clicks on the page. Now, I'm gonna show you a few different examples in this video, but I just wanna show you some evidence of that. So this is a website that is dynamically generated, okay? And you can see that it's ranking pretty well on Google. I mean, it's got 48,000 impressions in its first month. Yesterday, it got 2,000 impressions and 25 clicks. You can see that some of these impressions are very, very high, like this one here, Bernie uh, Auctioneer's Castle Bar, which is actually quite near us, right? Oh no, Castle Gar. The, re the, the kind of the evidence that I have here is all circumstantial or it's just, you know, what I've seen. But I'm gonna show you another website that I made last night, which is uh, findaplumbernewyork.com, okay? And you can see here, this is actually a pretty good website and you would expect this to rank well on Google, to be honest with you, because in my opinion, this website looks really nice. It feels really nice. You know, it has everything you would want on. But something that I've noticed is that the content does not get indexed as quickly. So if I just click on all of these, you'll see these were submitted to Search Console manually by me last night and none of them are on Google, okay? Not a single one. Only the locations page here is on Google. You'll see this, is, this one is on Google. So this is a very, very interesting case study to me um, because you would expect a website like this to get indexed more quickly than a website like this. This website here, again, I'm getting a lot of comments at the moment that are saying, I should probably close that, things like, you know, um, you need to do more testing or stop showing a method that you're not sure if it works or blah, blah, blah. This website was is dynamically generated, okay? So when someone clicks a result, that is when the information is sent from the API to my server and then displayed on the page. If I click on pages here, you'll see 41,000 index pages in under a week, okay? which must be some kind of record. Not only that, if I go on performance and then most recent date, you'll see 31,000 impressions yesterday and the day before that, it was 30,571. So we'd expect this to go up to about 33,000 impressions, maybe 34,000 impressions. Maybe it's finished at 31, I don't really know for sure, but I mean, that's still pretty damn impressive regardless, okay? And then if we go on another example, um, so get married in Italy. Okay. This is a website that I expected to do much better than it, than how it's done. And the reason in my opinion is that this is a statically built website. So if I go on any of these, if I go on videographers, for example, this content is, uh, sorry, if I go on Amalfi coast, for example, this content is permanent. It's static. Okay. This will never change because this content was built at the time of running npm build. So when I, when I built this website, that is when this information was collected. In my opinion, this would be ranking a lot better if this was dynamically generated content, okay? So I want you to bear that in mind, guys. In my opinion, it's better to have dynamically generated content. A couple of things about dynamically generated content, though. Make sure to use a cache, okay? I cannot say this enough we we accidentally spent um a lot of money i won't say how much money we accidentally spent a lot of money on the website that i showed you before the one that we're keeping secret we spent a lot of money because there was no cash which meant that google google crawlers were repeatedly 
crawling the website costing us even more money. If we had a cache, this would not happen. The content is still dynamic in Google's eyes because when it loads the page, it can see that it's calling a third party API. Uh, in this case, we used Google Cloud. Okay, so this is a really interesting concept. In my experience, okay, and the only one that breaks this mold is uh, my dog breed helper. Okay, the only one that is showing signs of life is my dog breed helper compared to all of the other statically built websites that I've made. So in my opinion, guys, in the last kind of month of experimentation, the main thing that I've learned is that dynamically generated websites that call a third party API and then display those results on a page get indexed and rank better or more quickly than a website that is statically built. Now, I'm still gonna be testing this theory because a lot of the statically built websites that I've made have been very, very simple websites. Again, the only exception to this is my dog breed helper, which if I go and compare breeds or let's just go on uh, breed explorer, you can see this is a much more interesting page than something like, uh, what is it, the meaning of babynames.com. This website completely died, just so you know, it, it got completely destroyed. So if I just go and learn more here, you can see this page is trash, okay? There's no way Google is gonna rank this. You can see the difference here. This is much better information. It has this beautiful radial graph. This is just a good website, whereas this website, both of them are statically generated. But if I go on, the meaning of babynames.com, you'll see it's actually getting zero impressions and zero clicks, okay? So again, I'm just trying to experiment. I'm trying to show you guys what works, what doesn't work. I hope people are appreciating this because I'm trying to save you time. I'm trying to save you money and take everything with a pinch of salt when I say that this is a new method that you should, tr that you should use. But what I actually mean is that you should try it and you should experiment for yourselves and maybe don't make the same mistakes that I did. For example, the meaning of baby names has 93,000 pages on it, all of which are off Google, all of which, you know, this website is dead in the water. However, something with much less pages, like uh, my dog breed helper, much fewer pages and much higher quality content is actually ranking on Google fairly well for a website that is less than a month old. So you can see here, much fewer pages. There's still 2,000, 3,000 pages, but that's not that many pages compared to kind of uh, something like The Meaning of Baby Names, which has 93,000 pages. So I want to talk about this just because this is something that I've learned recently. And every time I learn something, I want to share it with you guys. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to learn about my biggest tip for using AI for SEO in 2025.